Hello, people. This is our Cobra. And Ron and Araja. And Warlord Ron. And Givinia. And this is Let's Play The Secret World. Today, since both me and Givinia has gotten full green or a few blue uh, equipment, we will be trying Polaris again. But first, lore. It's of course about the Academy. No surprise there. And it says, A pile of dead leaves scattered. Due to its Illuminati affiliation, the Academy endured several attacks over the years. Thrice it fell. Thrice it was rebuilt. The signs and the hiss of the leaves point to Templar involvement. In 1852 it burned. In 1904, a ritually conjured earthquake rent it asunder. In 1967, an accidental application of dimensional portals along the then theoretical Esca curve destroyed the elementalism lab. Okay, uh, so the Templars possibly attacked the place. Well, I think it was at least, it could have been them two times. The last time they did something with the Esca curve. And considering what Esca and geometry has to do with one another, geez, that could not have been pretty. And the fire could have possibly been be accidental, but a ritually conjured earthquake? Yeah, somebody was involved there. I have to say, I don't feel really good about that. I mean, like we've already said, yeah, there are trained magi at the academy, but most of the people here are kids. Well, if I may make a quote from... Oh, damn it. Excuse me, lady, could you die? That's when you're supposed to hear say, sorry I don't do requests. But yeah. To make a quote from Soul Reaver, this world is riddled with cataclysms. Yep. But I guess not even you could feel proud about, about a temple accomplishment of killing school children with earthquake. Okay, the day I feel proud of that is the day I want you to kill me. Fair enough. But let's be fair, we have no proof that the Templars were involved, just suspicions. So I'm not going to point fingers. That wouldn't be fair. And if even if the Templars did it, it's not your fault, Rana. I'm pretty sure seriously. you weren't involved back then. And seriously, where's the righteousness of just saying, way to kill that school of, well, young apostates or whatever the hell they're called? Yeah, it's not nice. Anyway, people, um, the, before we go all the way to Polaris, we wanted to check out the cache in the League of Monsters Slayer's uh, clubhouse. We completely forgot about that part, and I think it's just about time we go back Wait, there hold on. and... Wait, hold on a second. Yes, what is it? I saw some graffiti over here, look! Just for a second, I seriously thought that looked like the Templar Cross. It could look a bit if you don't look too close. But let us continue. There is something about those things. Although it does look like shattered glass, and there's another one like it over there. No, wait, that's just a window. Well, that explains why it looked like shattered glass. Hmm. But yeah. But it was nice visiting the academy, some very good characters, and it was a nice place. Creepy, but nice. Yeah, I'm right, the only... The only... I uh, need one more law entry to have all of the law entries about the academy. Yeah, it's the oh. same situation with the uh, Black House, I know. I guess we could hunt for them at some point, but not right now. Um, yeah, I would have to say... I know I may not have sound li sounded like it, but I'm not too keen on going into the Black House again. Yeah, I can understand that. We may okay. look at that. By the uh, way, if you want a very funny, horrific imagery, Imagine it like this, exploring the Black House at the narration of uh, Southern Rarity. Okay, what, what did he... what? Rarity doing her Southern accent. Yeah, okay, I take the accent. At least it doesn't harm me. <laughs> Imagine if it could. Yeah, but that's a completely silly discussion. Ah, yeah. Lord knows that voice should not be able to hurt you. Oh mm. dear, there they are. Let's try to go around. There's the path over here. And now we enter the area inhabited, really inhabited by these damn things. Now they're on our way. 
or rather they are right behind us. But if we just run for the ladder and we each click on it quickly. Up, 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 up. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hurry, you guys. Whoop. You will not so well. Ah, oi, oi, oi. It's taking some hits, but if it just keeps climbing, it should be okay. No, I'm not even feeling this. Oh, hey, it's Warlord who's been hit. Hey, buddy. You Dang. stupid box. No problem. Alright, so we had to get a go up. I see him. It was this way around, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yep, that's true. And then the cache was in here. Okay. Um, so, just give me a moment. I got it on paper here. It was. Six, five, four, three, one, two. The most genius of codes. Hmm. Ah, it's a quest. Yeah, it's a normal. What did you say it was? Six, five, four, three, two, one. No wait. No one, two. Three, one, two. Sorry, my mistake. I'm coming in. Waiting my turn. Yes, it has a question. The League of Monster Slayers took special care to hide their secrets, especially the weapons they used to fight the monsters of the night. Maybe the location of their weapon cache is locked away in their safe. Alright, so now we might get a mi mystery solved of how exactly kids could fight monsters. I remember even Scrooge uh, say, uh, complaining about that. Alright, okay. uh, I have eight for, uh, eight for five people. Uh, extra, uh, extra curricular activity. Go to the, go to the woods. Yes, go that one. We have that one too. Okay, let's. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't just me who had missed it. So it was All right. Almost. All right. And the code was one number. Six at time. five four three one two. Now is the roster down inside here? So I just accept the quest. Yep. Weapons of minor destruction. <laughs> Neat. So you guys just jump down. Is it this? No, not uh -huh. all the way down. Right now I'm trying to figure out. It says examine the roster. The roster of what? Let me have a look. I think it's inside here and then it must be the roster, the roster, roster, roster. Newspaper clippings. No. Look down. Down here, I believe. No, wait, wait, wait. That's just damn it. That's just a shadow on the floor. Hmm. Either that or a rock. The roster, the roster, the roster. Where would you put a roster? Well, a roster of what? Apparently, it has something to do with the day they managed to kill a Wendigo, and apparently, they had a special weapon to do that. So, the hmm. roster of what exactly is it up here? Well, we might as well examine everything we can find. I'm just gonna try to open this again and see if there's anything in here. Oh wait, we got a roster from it. Okay, we have it in my in inventory. Oh, there yep. we go. It says, "Readiness plan by DD. Always remember when your sacred weapon handed down to you through the league is stash. These weapons holds a power, just like they did for our founding fathers." BR, the stake, wrapped in cloth and buried under the Dream Quest sandpit. DS, firecrackers, kept in plastic at the old pond. JM, devil's own cocktail, locked in a tin at the baseball pitch. DD, slingshot, hid this at an old fishing spot. Always be ready, always be prepared. So, apparently these kids got their hands on some artifacts of a sort. Yep, and now we need to go to the kindergarten. So, yeah. Yeah. Green quest, sand pit, and no pond, baseball pitch, and an old fishing spot. Right, but maybe we should save that after all we go to Polaris, because... Indeed. Go, yeah, because that's easier from here. So, we'll be right back, people. The trip back should not bring anything new. But if it does, we'll start the camera. Toronimo! Alright, we're here. And we decided to record this part just as... Uh, the oh, okay. Yeah. In any case, we decided to show this part so just to demonstrate how much better at asking we have become. There we have our first uh, group, the Sea Burials and the Hagbui Sentry. Give it here. 
You give him hell. Die. They keep running away from me. Stop ignoring me. It is actually pretty impolite. Right, I'm gonna hail Warlord a bit. It seems like you could need it. Thanks. Die. So yeah, that actually went pretty well. And the good thing about my healing ability is it jumps. So if the enemy turns, that means I can still heal all of you. If we suddenly have to cluster together because an enemy changed focus. So that's an advantage. And in here, still be careful. Yeah. Alright, I guess you want a shield given here. Yeah. Alright, you can get this. There you go. The one thing that should not kill us in here would be overconfidence. Now, if you could get his attention... Trying to! Oh crap, I got his attention! Uh. Here we go! Are we back to square one with this guy? Nah, he's taking some injuries. No, it's just because we've gotten so much stronger that now the others have easier time getting his attention. Which will probably mean you should get your provoke ability uh, on your skill line as quickly as possible. Yes. I mean, of course it can't be until we're done with this battle, but... Um, don't worry, I'm keeping Warlord alive. So, a certain degree. Come back here and fight like a troll. You're staying alive, Warlock? Yeah. Good, that means I'm doing my job. Yeah, you're really good at it. Thank you. And now Rana is being targeted. Bring it on. I've got enough shells for the left of you. Now you die! Yep. Alright, let's see what the loot is. It's a bracer. bracer. That's My not for me. Pass. Alright. So despite this absolutely worth crap compared <laughs> to the one I have. Alright, uh, so can you give me a moment? Yes, yes. The whole description of my ability to use the pump action is just frozen in place, so it fills a lot of my screen. Oh, but in any case, um, a quick tactical analysis. We become so damaging that it's hard for Givinia to keep the aggro just naturally. But luckily, you have um, some a cure for that, so you should probably get the provoke ability on right now. Yeah, uh, I suppose. Just a moment then. All right. Well, as for the whole provoke enemy into attacking. I'm not sure if I have any of those abilities, but if I, I don't don't have... I have provoke. Just a moment. What should I exchange it for? The others I think are already I exchanged right. it, but they construct for now. And I have provoke. Alright. I will just go up and join the others. But remember, it only worked for three seconds. Well, Wait. sometimes three seconds is all you need, but yeah, you were saying? It Can only forces the enemy to attack me for three seconds. Where did you guys go? Oh, just oh, check. Yeah. Well, we could go over here. Just got curious. So, yeah, curiosity yeah. usually needs. Ah! Um, corpse? Help? Where are you guys? Up here, on the top of the cliff. They already went oh. ahead. Because, well, you know, uh, well, there shouldn't be any enemies up here, but apparently there is one! Yeah, not to be rude, but yeah, clock preparation, we need to keep going! Bleed, you damn corpse! 